Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In the last video we had the fake news website where we made a website containing two headers, one with the categories of the different articles you see here on top. Then we have the fake news uh, uh, logo, let's say, in the second header. And then we have our homepage with a breaking article over here. And then the recent news underneath with some uh, articles, the most recent ones, simple footer on the bottom and then here more breaking news then the archives itself look like this so we have our home button here to go back easily the politics we are now in um, with an option to go to the next page world so they all have the same uh, the same look the archives um, and then if you open up one article it looks like this where we see we are inside of the world category and this article is now opened and here we have again an option to go back to the archive here we have an author name and the publishing date as well and then here the article itself is just depending on how it's set up and then here we have our next and previous button and then some similar posts over here this one at the bottom required a little bit of custom codes to make them equal height but this is something i go over in the last video now in this one we are going to not do too much but i'm going to use the exactly the same layout and we are going to change a little bit here uh, by using the cadence blocks pro plugin in the previous video i've created it with a completely free setup so the cadence team and the cadence blocks free version and now we're just going to replace it with the pro version and i'm going to show you what you can uh, do with the pro version to make this maybe a little bit more dynamic okay so let me show you the plugins you see here cadence blocks the pro extension is enabled and last time we only had this one okay but, uh, for other plugins i don't need i don't have uh, at the moment i only use this one so we go to our pages my home page and then we're going to change something here so if i open up the sidebar you see i have used a posts block here in the uh, underneath the recent news heading i'll remove this one and i'll open something else so we click on the plus icon and we're going to search for the post grid carousel this is something that's now available to us because of the pro version and if we click on it we can select an initial style and let's select the second one for example you can always change it back this looks a bit like this um, and then we're going to uh, increase the number of items to 12 like it was on the original one i think like this and then we're also going to change the grid to three columns so that's also the same as it was before we can set the gap and the row gap we're going to change this a little bit later maybe image is a link to post is good and then medium large is going to be sufficient normally then let's go to style and maybe we will be disabling the excerpt if you want to you can inside of content um, you can keep the um, it's in the advanced step i'm sorry um, the excerpt over here you can just disable it altogether so you just just leave the title and then the read more button we can always disable as well uh, you can also enable it and then just set a custom excerpt length if you say i only want about the first 15 words in it then it will um, create it like this yeah but i'm just going to disable it altogether so we only have the title and i'm also going to read more i'm gonna remove that button as well okay let me just update and refresh the page here and then you can see we have something like this now so uh, it's already looking different with with this styling but we have to change some stuff so it looks a little bit more uniform and a bit uh, nicer maybe okay so what can we do more we can go to the uh, display filter this is something that's also awesome if we enable this and this will, will enable us to create a filter on top so we can select which kind of filter we want so i'm going to use my categories if you don't i'm not sure what i'm talking about you can see in the previous video where I created the original site what I mean by these categories and now we can select the individual ones let's say we want to want them to be able to go in the breaking category the politics and maybe <clears throat> the environment and the world category so these are the most important ones and we want those to be filterable from the home screen filter all label this is the text you see here so you can change this to whatever you want uh, all articles 
for example you can you can choose if you want to change it and i'm going to align it to the left yeah the border width this is two on the bottom so this is this blue line you will see here uh, the padding and um, this is also going to change a bit of the spacing between the the border and the text itself and stuff um, but i'm going to leave this as it is for now the colors you can uh, the normal color just is like it you see it over here i'm going to change it to an, something else in the active color we're going to uh, use our uh, greenish color and we're going to go with the light green for the hover color light green like this you see it already changes and we're also going to uh, maybe change the normally the color of the border we can change as well so it's going to be the same color as the text like this okay perfect so it change, it's the same uh, styling as the other um, colors of our site the above title categories you can enable then you will see uh, in the all articles it's going to be relevant then they can see what category they have and they can click immediately to go to the archive but if you want to use want them to use the filters then maybe you should disable it so they can filter here on top Title settings, we have the title enabled and it's a link to a post. So if they click on this text, they will open up the article. Title color, I'm going to change it again to my greenish one. Typography, I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And I'm going to do the sizing here. I'm going to use the, maybe the medium one. And line height, maybe uh, let's go with 30. You can do whatever you want, of course. Font family, I'm gonna just le leave everything to inherit. Okay. Letter spacing, maybe let's see if we increase it a little bit, how it looks. Maybe, yeah, just like this is fine. Then uh, this is everything I'm going to do. Footer meta you have as well, where you can show a date on the bottom. Um, where you can force it to align on the bottom so it looks the same everywhere um, and then you can also set some font settings over here text color is also you can also show an author icon show the text or the categories uh, on bottom here if you want to so these are things you might want to enable if you want it to maybe the date is not a wrong thing to do but it's already showing up if they click on the article itself so i'm going to leave it as it is the most important thing now is go back to the general tab and we're going to use this filter by cat category so we're going to use the breaking we're going to use the same one as a, as my um, filters on top here because i only want those articles to be loaded of course because these are the only categories that they can filter on what did i do the politics and i also had the world in here breaking environment where is my world category i don't see it Let me just uh, update first and see how it looks. So now we have this recent news and then my filters and if you click on it you see it's a really nice loading animation and you see this world category maybe there are no articles in the world category maybe I don't know. Let me see world. Oh yeah there are some. Okay I have to fix this one but you see the filters itself are working but if because it's only loading all articles it's loading the 12 most recent articles and if in these 12 uh, most recent articles there are no uh, world or environment or whatever category is not uh, in there then they will click on it and it will load nothing so that's why in this um, settings here we're using this to include articles only from um, from these categories so the uh, the 12 that will be shown will be a mix between breaking environment and politics um, but i'm not sure why i can't see my world category yeah there it is if i type it in he finds it so i had a problem loading it for whatever reason let me refresh and see now oh we see the spinning ball this is not good okay there we go world articles and now you see it loads it uh, as well okay 
So we have a little bit of a more dynamic look and feel. You can do a lot of styling if you want to. I just keep kept it quite uh, simple. So this stays a short video. The complete website, again, you can check. I'll put the link in the description below. You can check it out if you want to set this up with the header that's changing colors and sticking to the top here. Um, but now we've made it a little bit more dynamic like so. All right. You can also use, if we open up something like this, and we go to the breaking category or the archive uh, we can also change the layout of the archive with the cadence pro plugin so this is an extension for the cadence team not the cadence blocks pro but the cadence team pro and um, i've already made a video about this where i changed the layout of the default uh, archive uh, with also some hover animations and some loading animations. Um, I also put a link in the video um, in the description below. So if you want to check that out, you can also use that video to increase this styling even more. All right. So uh, take care. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.